Hi, this is Noma Dimitri from the Alpine Garden. It is the heart of the summer and this is a time when lilies bloom. Um, it's a wonderful, it's a beautiful, beautiful bulb. It gives wonderful flowers. They come year after year and they, when, they're, when you treat them right, they look absolutely gorgeous. Uh, look at this one. I've had this for a couple of years now and she really makes an incredible nice bouquet of bright red lilies. Um, like all flowers, at some point these flowers, two of the lily, are going to wither and die and leave behind something that's not so attractive. Um, this is the time when you start thinking of deadheading them. Um, so with this video I'm going to show you how to deadhead them but before I do that I will explain to you why you need to do that. Why do you need to deadhead your lilies so they keep on coming beautiful every year, year after year and they even um, expand. You even get for every, every lily you get two or three or four or five and you keep on getting lots of them like I do here. This one in the span of two or three years has given rise to a bunch of children of smaller lilies and this one is the one that this one, the smaller one, which has only three blooms, one is already finished, um, uh, came out from this one. So I just bought one and then I got another one and I'm gonna get another one next year and it's gonna keep on happening like this. So I'm gonna tell you why you did had them so that you have the same kind of beautiful quality lilies as this one. Check it out. It's absolutely perfect. No one has eaten anything of it. It looks absolutely wonderful and it is fragrant and there has been no chemicals, no fertilizers, absolutely zero to make it look like this. Just the tricks that I'm gonna tell you. Now, before telling you how to do it, uh, why do you, do you deadhead flowers? Um, fl the flower part, plants, um, the flower part is the culmination of the life of the bulb. What the bulb wants to do is it wants to make leaves, and in the case of lilies, these are the leaves, this is what they look like. Nothing particularly special. Um, and <clears throat> And, the, and it draws sunlight from that, it makes photosynthesis, and with all that power of photosynthesis, it wants to make children, like every living creature on Earth. Um, the children come from the flower. The flowers contain the reproductive organs of the plant, okay? And you can see that the central one right here, the central one right here is the female part, and all around it are these male parts, these little ones, these little things here. If you touch the male parts, they will usually make your head a little red. There's a little red powder on them. That is pollen and that is the male sperm. So the male sperm with the aid of the wind or with an insect is going to go to the female part and then there's going to be uh, fertilization of the flower. As soon as that happens, the whole purpose of the flower is finished and the flower is gonna start to wither and die. That's when you want to think of deadheading them. Now, what happens when a flower gets fertilized? It is now useless, it has served its purpose, so it's gonna go away. And what will take its place? A fruit. Yes, even a lily will make some kind of fruit. Um, even though these fruits which contain the seeds are useless, the plant will continue its program to produce them. T just like all children, the fruit of a lily as well takes time and dedication and a lot of energy. So, you do not, since you don't want this fruit and you don't want the seeds of the lily, uh, and there's a whole reason why you don't want the seed of the lily, but we're not going to get into that right now. Uh, what you want to do is get rid of the flower once it starts fruiting. So, here's the distinction. You should be careful not to confuse. A lot of people can confuse the fruit with a bud. So I'm going to show you the difference. This is a bud, okay? This is a bud. This is actually wonderful. This is going to open up and become this, okay? When this is immature, it may not necessarily be red. This one is a bud too, and it's green, okay? So this green thing will turn red like this one. It's going to turn an in-between color, which is like this one, okay? So green first, in-between color here, then red, then one day, oopla, we open up and we get the flower okay so this is a bud this is a good thing you do not want to mess with that okay 
what is the fruit? Now we're gonna look lower and we're gonna see a fertilized flower. Here is one. This is a fertilized flower. Look at the difference. This is a very, very li thin little thing, okay? And then at the tip is the female part, okay? Which is kind of swollen after being fertilized, okay? It's gonna fall off. And this particular thing is the fruit. And this is gonna become bigger and bigger and it's gonna turn, it's gonna have seeds and it's the thing you do not want. This is the thing that you do not want, not this, okay? Um, so what you want, the whole act of deadheading is following your flower and making sure that you get rid of these when they get to this particular stage, okay? So in some flowers, this process happens all at the same time. So all the flowers go through this fruiting thing at the same time. In the lily, however, it's a different story. On the same plant, this is one plant, this bouquet, this beautiful bouquet is one single plant. You can see the plant, here it is. It's this, this, this is the plant, okay? It creates this entire bouquet of flowers. These flowers are not at the same stage at the same time. As you can see, they're bouquets, they're very immature green bouquets, they're full, uh, sorry, buds, uh, flower buds. This is an immature flower bud, this is a more mature flower bud, this is even more, and these are the open flowers. And this has already finished flowering. The petals have dropped, so the petals are these, okay? They have dropped off, the male parts have dropped off, and they just leave this female part here that you see. It's just this now and this thing that looks like a weird stem. That is the fruit. Okay, so this is what you don't want. Get rid of this and you're going to get wonderful lilies. And this is the act of deadheading. So how do you deadhead this damn thing? You just take it and snap it off. Okay, pop, it snapped off. Okay. This is the whole story of deadheading your lilies. You take these things off and you throw them out because they're completely useless and they will take away the energy of your plant. You do this and you'll have wonderful lilies just like this one and even better and you will have them to multiply. You will see that when you do this um, you will have the next year you will have lots of little lilies popping up I showed you the sister lily here that came up of this one so this is the big one here and this is the smaller one here but I have a whole bunch that are much smaller down all the way to the level of the ground this one for example okay that next year and this one okay these are all lilies and they all came from this one not through seeds but through the root system and next year I will have two or three that will look as nice as this one, okay? Um, the one last thing I want to tell you, because a lot of people mess this up, okay? You want to cut only these fruits, these things. This is the only thing you want to cut. Let's see this one. I'm going to cut this one for you just to make sure that you understand. But I cut it. You want to cut these guys. You do not want to cut the main plant. You want to leave these leaves on. So once all of these flowers turn into fruit and you snap them all off, what you will have is the plant itself. So this stem with these leaves, okay, that looks a little bit like a pineapple. Okay, you do not want to touch this pineapple, you want to let it. Slowly this thing will turn more and more yellow, this thing here. The leaves will turn yellow, it will not look great, okay? But you don't touch it. You have to let it die out on its own, turn yellow and fade away. And only when it's completely yellow and looking rotten and dead do you snip it off, okay? You need to do this step because if you don't do this step, the plant will not get enough photosynthesis to send back down to the bulb, to the lily bulb, and you will eventually kill your plant, okay? So, I think you know the whole story. Enjoy your lilies, get rid of the fruits, uh, make sure you don't bother the rest of the plant until it's completely withered and brown and yellow and dead and uh, wait for the sister lilies or the children lilies that are going to come up next year and will fill up your garden with these beautiful beautiful flowers enjoy your lilies happy summer noma dimitri from the alpine garden bye